Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in. This is Mehdi. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you five lesser known, very good cheap summer fragrances that get you compliments. I want to start by House of Rasasi at number five. Kun Muktalifan means be different, if I'm not mistaken. It is one of those unique and expensive smelling cheap fragrances. If you're into this type of citrusy, fruity, slightly minty, fresh and tiny sweet summer fragrances, then you're gonna love this one. I said it smells expensive, definitely very close to Parfums de Mali. Sadly, I can say almost a clone of that fragrance, highly inspired. Absolutely, I can get very big time similarities. Performance is average with this one, like five to six hours for this price. It is more than enough. No complaint about performance and projects average for first hour, maximum hour and a half. At number four, Nautica. Voyage N83, definitely a lesser known hidden gem and I really prefer this one over the regular Nautica Voyage. Why? Because that one a bit leans floral and unisex at the dry down and this one is compared to regular Nautica Voyage, more citrusy and woody. I like that weight that this fragrance has compared to that one and more citrusiness of this one. I like that independent stance of this fragrance. I mean, it is not clone of any other fragrances out there, which is a positive point in my book. And it is not a flat type of fragrance. It is a bit twisted and as I said, has some woody weight to it. It is woody, aquatic and citrusy with average performance, let's say to this one, somehow a little bit above average, like five to six hours. With first hour, hour and a half, average projection and CS. At number three from House of Armov, Soville Purom, just wow, one of those I'm fairly underrated lesser known complimenting cheapies and for this price it smells very legit, high quality and nothing cheap smelling there at all. If you like Invictus, Dior Sauvage, Rasasi Havas type of fragrances, this less aquatic more woody version of those fragrances, this is like mixture of your Sauvage and uh, Invictus or Rasasi have us together. Not as dense as Arm of Hunter Intense, which is also something like that. But this one is in the citrusier side. It is a very sharp, sour, citrusy, woody type of fragrance with a good performance and very good complementing factor. At number two, this one is a smoke bomb, guys. Avant from Maison Alhambra, as you can guess from the name somehow, Avant, Aventus. Yes, this is another Aventus cologne and one of those exaggerated smoky Aventus alternatives. If you are into fruitier batches of Aventus, this is not for you. It starts up tiny fruity just for some seconds, a few seconds. Then after that, we have nothing there fruity and we have a very smoky Aventus DNA there. Almost I can say or I want to say leathery, but they stopped at that border After that would be like leathery smoky, but it is birchy type of a smokiness woody type of a smokiness I like it and performance is good like six almost somehow up to seven hours But it is like between six to seven hours With good projection and siege and it is a very oily fragrance on the skin You can feel that fragrance is very concentrated at number one, under this title for me, I mean cheap, lesser known, complimenting summer fragrance, is Hayati from House of Latafa. It is tiny floral, I can get jasmine, a bit aquatic, sweet, fruity and woody. Smells concentrated, reminds me of Invictus by Pakurabam, but compared to Invictus, it is lesser aquatic and more woody and I can get tiny more florals with hints of somehow melonish vibe it has a very successful and lady blizzard dna dna of invictus which is available here they reduce a little bit aquaticness which is also good i can say somehow improved i can compare it with najda from the same house compared to najda this one is more youthful because they reduce that mature leafy vibe najda lasts like 10 to 12 hours plus on me this one is Maximum six to seven hours with first hour, one half average projection and CH. Take care, guys.